Welcome to this week's episode of Retire Simply DFW, the show that helps you navigate the complexities of your retirement. I'm your host, Kristen Oakley, and I'm joined in the studio by Scott and Angela Winstead. They are co-founders of Compass Retirement. Winstead! It's always good to be with you. How are you this week? Oh, we are great. You know we love coming here and oh. sharing. and That's right. Yeah. It's so good to be here. Yes. Wow. And I know you've been so busy. You are just growing like crazy. Viewers are watching the show. They're calling. They're coming in to meet with you, and you're expanding your offices. Tell me more about oh, that. Gosh, yes. We are. It has been gangbusters. We are beautifully blessed. But, yeah, we are actually expanding in the Metroplex. So our home office is in Grapevine, which is, you know, right mm -hmm. by DFW Airport. Yes. Uh, but we now are going to have a east office over in Dallas. We have one over in the west in Fort Worth, yeah. and we'll have mm -hmm. several in between because, quite frankly, um, with the, the response we've gotten, we just have to we have to grow. You're meeting yeah, that that's demand, it. right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. absolutely. we got to be ready to help all over the place. Yes, you know? awesome. Well, I love that, and I am so excited to be back with you. I know you've prepared another fabulous show for our viewers at home today. If you lost money in the stock market recently or last year in 2022, you are not going to want to miss this show and hear what Scott and Angela have to say specifically about that situation. So let's start off with that because last year was a really hard year for a lot of folks. I think a lot of people thought they were invested more conservatively yes. and then were shocked at how much they lost because we had stocks and bonds going down at the same time. So we know that no investment is void of risk, right? Every right. type of investment out there has some sort of risk. But let's talk specifically today about market risk. So where do you want to kick us off in this conversation about, you know, folks are like, yes, I'm sick and tired of losing money in the yeah. stock market. How do I deal with this market risk? Yes. Well, I think one of the most important things we can do is define that risk, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know we're losing money, but how? How are we losing money? And then where are we losing money? Mm -hmm. um, you know, when we hit retirement, we look at risk very, very differently. Our whole team knows that if you can lose a penny, that is a risky investment for retirement. Now, there's different levels of risk, but for us, really, if you can lose any of your principal, that's risk. Mm. So that's going to be anything you have in the market. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it's your 401k. It could be in your IRA. It could be in your Roth. It could be in all different types of accounts. Mm -hmm. But we really have to look at those accounts, see how they're invested, and see what has the opportunity, that's a terrible word, the possibility of mm -hmm. loss. Mm -hmm. um, and that's really what we're looking for. And again, it doesn't matter if you're in index funds or mutual funds. I don't want to get too complicated. Right. But these things can lose money. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people have forgotten that. You know, they're reminded now, but we had such a run in the market where everything yeah. was going up and everybody just expected mm -hmm. when I put money in the market, it's going to grow. Mm -hmm. And they learned kind of in a hard way that that's absolutely not true. So we've mm -hmm. all been reminded, but w let's really get in there and see what type of risk you've got because mm -hmm. it might not be what you're comfortable for. And for most of the people that are coming into the office, we're finding it's not what they're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. So we've really got to get in there and evaluate that risk. Do you find that that's really common that a lot of folks don't even realize how much risk they're currently taking on in their investments? Yeah, I think it's one of those things where um, it's hard to understand exactly how much you can lose mm -hmm. right? until mm -hmm. it happens and then it's kind of too late. Mm -hmm. And then right. what you quickly figure out is how long do you have to wait for this to actually come back, mm -hmm. right? And that's mm -hmm. a horrible lesson to have to really try to figure yes. out and understand. Yeah. But I, w I think we want to be very clear though. Mm -hmm. You have to take some calculated risk in your retirement. Mm -hmm. It can't just be everything earning, you know, 4% or 5% mm -hmm. and no other option to go above that because inflation starts to erode, yes. um, you know, what you could spend and, and those sorts of things. So mm -hmm. it's a balancing act. It's making sure you have proper levels of not only growth where we know what the risk is, but also safety where you know, hey, I'm not going to lose on this amount of money. And I think being right. able to balance that is of the utmost importance. Mm -hmm. So how does one go about determining how much risk they should take because to your point you can't have you know th there's risk with every type of investment we can't avoid that but what I know you're in the business for doing for folks is helping to mitigate those risks but because we need to keep up with the pace of inflation mm -hmm. for example how much risk should a person be taking with their investments in retirement that is a great question and one that we're finding a lot of people are asking themselves mm -hmm. and i'll tell you this this you might not like this answer but the truth is it's different for everybody mm -hmm. so we're going to be asking questions when you come in hey 
how are you feeling about your money in the market? Usually by their feeling, we know there's already too much risk, right? But we focus on fees, taxes, and risk. Mm -hmm. And so when we're really digging into that risk, it's a lot about their comfort level. Mm. It's a lot about, hey, when are you actually gonna retire? When does the money actually stop coming in? Mm -hmm. That's when we have to really cut back our risk. And you know, risk is a constant conversation mm. because you might be comfortable with one level of risk today, mm -hmm. but your future self, let's just jump forward. We're talking retirement here, so let's jump forward 10 or 15 years. I am guessing your future self is not comfortable with the amount of risk you have now. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? It does. The things are always adjusting. And, and you need having, to adjust for that, right? And yes. having to coordinate that with your spouse if yes. you're married. Yes. Yep. Um, you know, we often times find that, hey, you know, one person's more conservative than the other, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So here's mm -hmm. what we would say. You know, if you're out there and you're seeing a lot of fluctuations in your account, it went up a lot uh, uh, a couple years ago, went down a lot last year, mm -hmm. back up a little bit this year, and you're just not comfortable, it's making you very uneasy, what we'd invite you to do is pick up the phone or give us a, uh, give us a call. What we can do is do a complimentary portfolio review for you, and here's what that's gonna be. We can actually take the current investments that you're in today and be able to simulate good markets, bad markets, COVID, high interest rates, and show you what's the maximum amount you might be lose or how you could lose. And that way it, you know the level of comfort you have before those events happen again. So pick up the phone or scan that QR code, give us a call and let us do that complimentary portfolio review for you. Scott, Angela, thank you so much. To our viewers at home, we are going to take a quick commercial break, but this is an excellent opportunity for you to get on the calendar, to come in, meet with Scott and Angela and the team at Compass Retirement to get your complimentary portfolio review. All you need to do is just call that number on the bottom of your screen, 844-861-5203. You're also welcome to take out your smartphone. Simply scan that QR code in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. That will take you over to a landing page, ask you a few simple questions, and then a member of the Compass this retirement team will reach out to you to be able to set up your time to meet with Scott and Angela for your complimentary portfolio review. We have so much more to cover today about market risk. Stay with us. At Compass Retirement, we have a very specific way that we love to help people plan. It's actually a trademark system and we call it Retire Simply. When we put together your plan, it is on one page. We use this plan as a really easy way for you to organize in your mind what your money's doing and how it's behaving. We have made an acronym to make it very easy to remember. Simply stands for S, shelter your money. A portion of your retirement savings has to be protected from the stock market going down. Very important. I, income generation. Without income, you don't have a retirement. How do you maximize your social security? What's that sit on the porch number that it takes you every month just to exist in retirement? M stands for Medicare and long-term care planning. Alleviates all of that burden that might come down the road. P stands for protecting your legacy. You know, you've worked hard all of these years to save. So let's make sure that it gets where you want it to get to in the most tax efficient and best manner. L, something we're very passionate about, means less to the IRS. We've got to have a plan so that we are paying the least amount of taxes to get you to and through retirement. And then lastly, yearly strategy visits. Having it organized this way is what gives us the ability to be flexible and nimble. So when, not if, but when our retirement environment changes, we are always in a good position to be able to get you the income that you need in retirement. Your plan is a living, breathing thing because you are a living, breathing person. So it takes constant monitoring and constant updating to make sure your plan's always in line with the retirement vision you have. So at Compass Retirement, it's all about retiring simply. Welcome back to Retire Simply DFW, brought to you by the team at Compass Retirement with Scott and Angela Winstead. They are the co-founders of Compass Retirement. I'm your host, Kristen Oakley. We are talking today about market risk. And as we established before the commercial break, 
there's no investment out there that's void of any risk, but I know that your heart, your passion for folks is to be able to mitigate those risks, specifically with someone's investments, their portfolio as they are approaching, nearing, entering, and then in retirement, because those losses can be so detrimental to the rest of your, your lifetime and your financial future. So I'm curious, why is market risk in particular? Let's, let's unpack why this is so problematic for things like our 401ks, for our Roth IRA, you know, for all these these investments we've been using over the years to accumulate money to support us in retirement. Well, yeah, market risk sounds like a big, scary thing, mm -hmm. and it can be. And it, like Scott was saying earlier, and we also need to have it, yes, right? Right. So that's the most important thing. Okay, we've got this big, ugly, scary thing called market risk. Mm -hmm. How do we make it our friend, mm -hmm. right? How do we use it properly? And um, you'll hear a lot of very complex conversations about market risk. Mm -hmm. But really what we're talking about is, hey, when the market goes down, we're taking money out, we're losing money. So mm -hmm. how much money are we willing to lose? Mm -hmm. That's really what we have to get comfortable with mm -hmm. in retirement. How much can we afford to lose, Exactly, right? yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. Because you know, in retirement, and uh, we have a little bit, not quite, but a little bit of a fixed income. And what I mean by that is, Typically, we're just not having a lot of extra income coming in, right? Mm -hmm. Because we've stopped working. Right. So we have to deal with things a little bit differently and risk is one of those things. Mm -hmm. So let me give you an example. Like you mentioned, um, with the IRAs and the 401ks and those types of things, you know, when we're working, we just see that number going up and down and up and down. Mm -hmm. uh, when we retire, everything changes a little bit because mm -hmm. we're not dumping money into our retirement buckets anymore, right? right. And we won't go too deep into this, but if you're familiar with required minimum distributions, and that's just a rule that says, as of right now, when you hit age 73, mm -hmm. and you have money in these pre-tax accounts, like your 401k and your IRA, the government's gonna make you take that money out at 73. It might be later when you get to it, but no matter what, they're gonna make you take some money out. Well, let's think about this. They make you take it out whether you want it or not. If the market is down mm -hmm. and I have to take money out, that really means that I have to raise cash in my account. I probably have to sell some investments. Depleting that much faster. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And you hear it all the time, we have to sell low. Nobody wants to sell low. No, we don't. But imagine selling low and then having to take a big chunk of money out of it. Mm -hmm. You know, we find that's how people, one of the ways that people run out of money really fast in retirement. Yes. So that's why mitigating that risk is so important, especially mm -hmm. in retirement. Right, because you don't have that time mm -hmm. on your side to help make up for the loss. And we've talked about on the show before, that percentage math yeah. yes. will get you oh every God. time. Sure right? Well, it is. I think, you know, Kristen, it's, and I'm glad you brought up percentage math because it gets folks, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, hey, I lost 10% last year. Mm -hmm. Doesn't sound awful. Mm -hmm. But what if you're sitting there and you had a million dollars and you lost 10% last year? That's a $100,000 loss. Wow. Gone. Gone. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. And then we forget how math works. Hey, I lost 10. How much do I have to actually make back to get back to where I was? Is closer to like 12%, right? Mm -hmm. And so yep. it becomes yeah. this thing where you're constantly trying to play catch up. Mm -hmm. And that's a really bad spot to be in in retirement. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you brought up time. Mm -hmm. And what we believe at Compass Retirement that is so important is that you cannot time the stock market. Mm -hmm. What we believe is the most important thing is time in the stock market. Mm -hmm. So we're not playing this guessing game of should I sell now and when to get out and jump in. Listen, your retirement's 20 to 30 years probably. So we're not making decisions on a day by day or a week by week basis. That, that's for you know the hedge funds out there and when you're growing your money and all that. The key to retirement and the success to retirement typically is about the amount of money that you're going to keep, not the amount of money that you're going to earn or make. And one of the major things that takes money from you in retirement is the risk you take and when the stock market goes down. So making sure that we're in it for a long haul so that the markets can actually do what they do, which is go up over time. Mm -hmm. We want to be able to participate in that. Absolutely. You know, I love that you made that distinction. So for clear enunciation, right, we're not talking about timing the market, T-I-M-I-N-G. Right. We're talking about your time 
in the market. That's and right. That's the difference. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very, yeah. very important. Mm -hmm. And so again, one of the things we just believe is that you've got to have a plan around this. And that's why we've yes. built our Retire Simply plan. Mm -hmm. And one of the pieces of our plan is really to help make sure that we are set up properly so that when the markets turn south, because mm -hmm. they will. They will. Mm -hmm. That's, that's inevitable. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Have we thought through that and do we have a plan for it? So if you're mm -hmm. sitting out there and you're sitting there thinking, well, geez, last year my account went down a whole lot and this year it's gone a little bit back up and I really just can't stomach this. It doesn't feel good. Uh, I wish I understood exactly the amount of risk I was taking. I would invite you and encourage you to take action right now and call the number on the screen or scan the QR code and contact us to get a complimentary portfolio review. It sounds fancy. It's not fancy. Here's what it is. We're going to be able to take all the investments that you're currently in and the way you're invested today. We're going to be able to show you that if the stock market goes down or interest rates keep going up or COVID-19 happened again, what would your portfolio and your money do in those given situations? And we can simulate that before it ever happens so that if you're in a position where you're taking too much risk that you're comfortable with, we can get that adjusted before any of these big events happen. So we really encourage you to take action. None of that can happen until you pick up the phone or scan that QR code. Scott, Angela, thank you so much. We are going to have to take another quick break, but we encourage you, this is a great opportunity for you to pick up the phone, call that number on the bottom of your screen, 844-861-5203, or as Scott said, you're welcome to scan that QR code as well. While this might be new to you, it's not new to Scott and Angela and the team at Compass Retirement, and they would love to help you by providing this complimentary portfolio review for no cost, no charge, no obligation. When we come back, have you been doing this yourself? Are you a do-it-yourself investor? Have you been trying to manage all of this risk on your own? If so, you're not going to want to miss what Scott and Angela have to say as we unpack some of the most common mistakes we see investors making today because we want to make sure that you avoid making them as well. Be back right after this. The work never seems to end until the day it finally does. After nearly a lifetime on the job, you should be rewarded for all the time you spent working. Whether that's crossing off items on your bucket list, learning a new passion, or rekindling the love of an old one. After all, life isn't over when you stop working. It's the start of an all new chapter. The one where you're the writer and you get to choose how your story will go. A way to achieve that is by having a clear financial plan to sustain your golden years. The biggest fear most retirees have is if they'll have enough money to maintain the lifestyle they've always enjoyed. Having a plan to help protect you against the curveballs life often throws will help to maintain your lifestyle. Call today to get your free written financial plan so you may live every day to the fullest and enjoy the retirement of your dreams. Welcome back to Retire Simply DFW with Scott and Angela Winstead. They are the co-founders of Compass Retirement, and I'm your host, Kristen Oakley. We've been talking today about the importance of addressing market risk with your investments, specifically for those of you entering, nearing, in retirement. And we, before the break, we talked about you know, a lot of times that folks are trying to do this on their own mm -hmm. and they're trying to navigate these complexities on their own. And one of the things I love about you all is you're about taking the complexity out of things and really helping folks be able to retire well and doing so in a way that's simple to understand. We know that a lot of viewers have been doing this on their own for many years, right? You meet with folks all the time who've been do-it-yourself investors. They've been trying to handle all the things, managing the risk in their investments. What are some of the common mistakes mm -hmm. that you see folks making that they might not even realize they're making? I love that question, Kristen, because one of the main things is folks have been kind of lulled asleep a little bit and got mm -hmm. this false sense of confidence. And here's what I mean. We had such a run in the market over the last, call it 12 to 13 years, yeah. that quite yeah. frankly, if you weren't making money, whether you did it yourself or you had a, an investment person or a mm -hmm. planner, there was something wrong if you weren't making money, right? right? Yeah, it was the longest running bull market, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I think one of the main things that happened last year with a, almost a 22% drop in the, the stock market last year is it brought a lot of the people that were just kind of doing it themselves back down to earth. Back to reality. That's exactly. right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it doesn't mean that we're saying, hey, you have to go work with a mm -hmm. retirement planner. What it right. does mean is when I think about life, and all the things I've done for the first time, 
<laughs> Usually they didn't go well. <laughs> Yes. And here's what I mean. Mm -hmm. When I, I'm sure when I learned to walk and took my first step, I probably fell. Right. And I know the first time I rode a bike, I hit a brick mailbox. I have a scar on my knee to prove it. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, How I about won't the even, first date. I, I was say, I'm not even going to get in. Me. I'm not even going to get into my first kiss and what a knock of the teeth and all that. Oh, was, right. Here's my point. Why would retirement be any different? Mm -hmm. If you do it right, you do it one time. Yes. And are you confident enough to be playing guinea pig with your million dollars or your two million dollars to just try it out and hope it works? Mm -hmm. Market risk is one of those things where it comes up and bites you before you really understood exactly what was happening. It's mm -hmm. kind of like that old uh, Warren Buffett quote said that, you know, you never know who's swimming naked till the tide goes out. Yes. And last year, a lot of people got caught with their swimsuit down. <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> so again, it's really making sure that you're properly diversified. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Yeah. I think number two is making sure you know the amount of money that can potentially be lost. Mm. So important, mm -hmm. right? And if you think about it, if I had a million dollars and a half of my money, $500,000 of my money, couldn't go down, mm -hmm. it was safe. Right. But the other $500,000 I had in the market and it was growing up and down. Mm -hmm. And this side loses 20% like last year in the stock market. Mm -hmm. How much to my overall portfolio did I really lose? only 10%, right? Because half mm. my money couldn't go down. Right. So that way, when the market comes back, you're starting at a higher watermark than everybody else, mm -hmm. and you're reaping the benefit of that growth. So making sure you properly have your money allocated to a portion that can go down mm -hmm. versus a portion that is safe is so, so incredibly important. And I would so. also say this, when we're talking about do-it-yourselfers, you might not think of yourself that way if you're someone who saved in a 401k and you're like, yeah, I never really paid attention to this stuff. They just kept taking money out of my paycheck. Great, that's kind of a do-it-yourself or two. And when you're getting near retirement, that's the time to reach out three to five years before and just say, hey, I've been doing this myself. I need a little help. I've heard about that risk stuff. Like, I don't want to get in those hot waters. Mm -hmm. um, that would be a good time to reach out because I know Scott also mentioned diversification yes. and probably everyone's thinking about their portfolio being diversified. We want your money diversified. We want it diversified in different buckets. It's a huge part of our strategy with Retire Simply. You know, we believe you have to have money in different buckets doing different things. For example, one bucket, it's our green bucket. We call it our cash bucket, right? Mm -hmm. That's all the money we have in the bank. That's liquid money. We can just get our hands on it whenever we want. Mm -hmm. We need a certain portion in there. But it's not really at risk if you have under $250,000 in the bank. <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is you aren't really losing due to market right. risk, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we have another bucket. It's a blue bucket. And it acts a lot like the green bucket where it can't lose money. But it has the ability to grow mm -hmm. more than your money in the bank. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we can't lose money there and we get a semi-decent return. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we have the red bucket. That's the bucket we're talking about. Our red bucket is our risk bucket. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, it can lose money really fast, but over time it makes more than all of the other buckets. So we have mm -hmm. to be diversified in our buckets as well. Does yes. that make sense? It makes perfect sense. That yep. gives us the ability to be flexible and nimble in mm -hmm. retirement. So like Scott was saying, if we have half of our money in something that's protected, let's pretend it's a blue bucket, we have half of our money in the red bucket, and of course we keep enough cash on hand. Well then when the market goes down, like he said, 22%, we really only lose 11%. Mm -hmm. And when we don't have more money that we're adding to everything, that makes it a little bit smoother in yes. retirement. We're not on that massive roller coaster mm -hmm. where most people leave all their money in their 401k. Right. Typically, we do not want to do that in retirement because we really lose control. Absolutely. Does that well, makes sense? And I love that you're talking about diversification here because I know we've had this conversation, the three of us, how a lot of folks might think that they're diversified. Oh, I've got stocks and bonds, mm -hmm. or I've got, you know, three to five to 10 different mutual funds, but then when you break it down, well, 
each mutual fund is actually invested in the same different stocks. Yes. So are you truly diversified or not? And I think that's one of the beauties of what you offer with this complimentary mm. portfolio yes. review is really being able to look at someone's diversification and are you truly diversified so that when these hits to the market come, mm -hmm. you're not going to be exposed to more risk than you need to be. You know, you're so right, yeah. Kristen. I mean, we see a lot of the time, you know, someone might have XYZ mutual fund, then they've got some stock, and mm -hmm. then they've got this index fund. And when we run this complimentary portfolio review, we do what we call an x-ray. Mm -hmm. And you realize that the top 10 holdings of all their money are the same the regardless. Same They're just stuff. packaged differently. And then they're surprised, well, why did everything go down the same amount? Right. Yeah, so that's that's a, a great point with that. Yeah, because yep. there's a difference between being diversified and being diversified across asset classes. That's exactly right. Right, right. Yep. absolutely. And so this is what I would say to you. If what we're saying rung a bell in your head and you're like, holy smokes, I never, I hadn't thought about it like that. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to pick up the phone. You're going to want that portfolio review where we really can dig into exactly how much risk you've got because knowing is half the battle. Then we might make a different choice. We might not, but it gives you the power to be able to make a different choice. And I can tell you all are empowered because I can see the phones ringing. So I will tell you this. If you are one of the first 10 callers, we will be able to do this complimentary portfolio review for you. We have been blessed with all of y'all that need help, um, but we also have a fantastic team that can help, but we can't help everybody. <laughs> So Not if you're one of the first right? 10 callers, yes, we can help you. We can help you. Absolutely. Well, and, and any other strategy and words of advice, Scott, that you want to throw in there? You know, too? I would just say, you know, take action. Mm. Yes. The worst thing that's going to happen when you visit with our team is they're going to look at everything and say, don't change a thing. Yeah. Mm. Don't mm -hmm. change a thing. You've got it locked down. The best thing that comes out of it is they look at it and they tell you, hey, you know what? Here's where we can take you from good to great. And here's how we can maximize what you've got going on. But the first step is just to take some action, pick up the phone, scan the QR code. Awesome. Scott, Angela, thank you so much. It's always a treat to be with you all. And I know you love helping and serving the entire yes. Dallas-Fort Worth community. Yep. Yes, 100%. thank you, Kristen. We're so happy to be here. Well, great. Well, I know that the phones have been ringing. <laughs> so we are going to have to close them soon. So we encourage you for the next 10 callers, this is your opportunity to pick up the phone, make this important call, do something that your future self will thank you for. We realize you might already be working with another financial advisor, but there's no harm that can come from getting a second opinion. And the best part, for no cost, no charge, no obligation. You can get that today by calling the number on the bottom of your screen, 844-861-5203, or you can scan that QR code to get connected with the team at Compass Retirement to get your own complimentary portfolio review. You only get one shot at retirement. You want to do it right and you want to do it well. And Scott and Angela and their team are ready to help you do it simply. We love you, Dallas-Fort Worth. And as we say around here, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.